Okay, we're recording. Okay, so start arming 101 dishing. Right here, if you take a look at this hammerhead, you'll notice that it's got a slight bevel to it and it's very smooth. It's been polished with a grinder. Uh, this is what you want for basic dishing. You're going to want a, a uh, glove, preferably something fairly thick and padded. I like these ones with fur lining. This is to hold on your steel and to prevent shock going through into your fingers. For the purposes of today, I'm going to use this steel dishing uh, tool that I've made. But uh, normally, guys use just a wooden dishing stump. Uh, it's about uh, four inch diameter, uh, about an inch and a half to two inches deep. Um, this ridge here. Uh, we'll show how to use that and what you're going to use that for in the next installment of, of uh, what we're going to do here. You have to bear with me, I'm not exactly a TV show host. I, I just beat the hell out of metal. I'm not great in front of a camera. Um, so, today we're going to start by dishing the helm half. Now, you guys. Out in Valley Wold there, I sent you a whole bunch of these things. Uh, the Prince has also received a few that he'll be getting out for large us, so if there's people uh, that have received these and have tuned in to try and figure out what the heck the next step is, this is it. Now, what we're going to do is course them. Now, by coursing, what I mean is contrary to what you would normally think, we're going to start on the outside. We're going to run along the outside with our first set of blows. Then we're going to go to the inside. Then we're going to finish on the center. Now, this I find is a much, much, much easier way to dish. And it goes a lot faster. So, starting with our dishing stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back side. Now, where you want to be working is under this leading edge of the stump. The reason being, this is going to provide a background for your steel to be formed against. So, as we start, notice I'm not sparing the blows. I'm hitting fairly hard. Okay, so we've done the first course of blows. Notice I've stayed within the confines of the first lines. Next, we're going to move to the second range, which is just within here. What we're going to end up with is a slightly raised center, which is easy to pound down. this puckering along the edges that's normal don't worry about it it comes out really easy later on in the process
that's the second course done. You'll notice that we've got that depression that I was talking about running through the center, and we've got our edges rounded off. I'm starting to get a little closer in the way that it should be fitting the head. Oops, that was upside down. <laughs> We're getting closer to the way that it should be getting to the head. Now this is a large helm half. I sent you guys larges because, well, it's easier to cut off than it is to add. So the final course is through the center. Again, I'm working from the outside in. And always against that back edge. going to do is we're going to worry about this flat edge and these ripples that are showing up. Now the ripples are easy. Lay it against the edge. those out and you're back to having a nice smooth surface again. Now this flat spot, you're going to get flat spots. Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. Don't get discouraged. Just focus your dishing on that flat spot. Again, working against that back edge. done two-thirds of my second course I'm just working in the center. And there we go with hell half about three quarters of the way done. At this point is where you're going to want to start doing your fitting and figuring out how much more dishing you have to do and how much cutting you're going to have to do to get this thing sized out. Now for somebody like me with a big head, <laughs> I'm not going to have to trim this a whole lot, but uh, for some of the smaller fighters, it's important to remember that you want to take off equal amounts, both off the top and off the bottom of these helm hats, to get them to fit up right later. Uh, hopefully that's uh, giving you some useful information on dishing and where to start and uh, I will be doing another video uh, in a little while here to show how to use a chisel to add uh, some decorative uh, decorative touches to your helmets and your other armor as well as uh, you know strengthening your armor by fluting. That's it for today.